Today on our school. Today on our school, a story of survival. <laughs> As the students of year seven face one of school's biggest challenges.
know other people and Back at home, he's on the ball too. Caught with washing the dishes and tidying the place. Whatever mum needs really. Thank you so much for your help. I think it's important to help at home because most parents, they help us, so I think we should give it back and help them. Check him out. He's cutting the grass. My God, Michael. Gives out energy, gives it out as light, or heat, or noise, or fizz. Javante and Michael are both mad about drumming. We like to like make beats on like on like the table, so we like we kind of like just bang it. He would just be German and then when he stopped, I would like continue. Psych! Maybe a little less drumming, lads. You're supposed to be listening to Mr. Shaw. Thank you. Uh, take a little scoop of the magnesium turnings. You're the test tube. Javante, stop. No, it's not just you. It was me, Okay. I like the honesty. Good to see Michael not letting his mate take the rap. I think we could probably get along pretty well. And if there were to be any problems, it would be solved straight away. Yeah, yeah. I reckon there's a friend for everyone at secondary school. You've just got to find them. Let me introduce you to the smartest pair in year seven. Mayvand and Gresh. I would describe myself as a geek. I'm really passionate and into uh, lots of different subjects. I'm into math, science, English, pretty much all subjects. I'm kind of a geek and a nerd at the same time. Hey, I love geeks. Geeks are cool. Some people call me little names like Clever Clog, Smarty Pants, Smarter. Glad to hear it. I don't want anything like that going on in our school. Me and Van were born in the UK, but now it's home. Me and Greg have things in common, such as he came from Poland to Britain and I came from Afghanistan. They used to live two and a half thousand miles away, and now they're best friends. For now 11 years. I think the reason I came to England was because of the wars in Afghanistan. It was really hard for me because I barely knew English at all. I think um, my teachers taught me like hello and things like that, the basics in English, but that's it. So I basically had to start from a new leaf. I live with my brother, my mum, and recently uh, my mum and my dad split up, so I, don't, I still see my dad, um, but he's just in another area. Gresh's grandparents are a big part of his life. My grandparents are in England because they moved here, so it's, you know, better for all of us. Uh, uh. My dad helps around the allotment, he uh, builds a lot of stuff. Gresh always helps his granddad out. He, um, you know, cuts up his thing, cross the fingers of uh, now, but... He does get himself into trouble a lot of times. The stuff. No, super. I live with my mum, my dad and my little brother. Family is really important to me, Van, too. My relationship with my dad is really good. He teaches me lots of moves, maths like algebra. He teaches me bod maths, like, really hard. I learn lots of new things in maths like that. Hmm? Wow. This is the picture after my birthday, that was when I was going to England. I'm glad I came to England because um, there's lots of new people that I can um, meet 
happens. There's a lot of different uh, people and coaches in that school, and I think. Uh, Yep, in fact, we've got pupils from nearly 50 countries here at our school. But sometimes, getting used to a new home can feel a bit isolating. So how important? In maths, Gresham Mayland make an amazing team. Okay, and the name... Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence. What? Well, yeah, what's that? You all know. It's called the Fibonacci sequence. Sometimes, I don't even think they need a teacher. Every time in class, people would struggle, and the, the first people they would come to is either me or me, and then they would go to the teacher if we can't do anything. No. Eight, seven, and, and then five of them. Subtract by three. Every time. Five times. Five times. All right. Yeah. There you go. Every now and then, they even test each other. We've got Professor Gresh here. It's not really competitive. Maybe if you do, like, a... Then like a competition on something, maybe we have like a little project, maybe we might be competitive on nine's best score on something. Okay, so who's the smartest? Mayland. Hey, yeah, does it nature favour those numbers? So, um, a snail shell might have a number in the Fibonacci sequence. Yes. Oh my god, that's so cool. Never I struggle in my lesson. I just go to Mayland because I know he's the only person who's smarter than me. You see, there's a good match for everyone. and like they're always there for each other and if there's like a problem we'll talk about it and then like we can solve it. Yeah. <laughs> 
together. <laughs>